Living in Beijing or Tianjin, two of the largest neighboring northern cities, is gradually becoming like living in one big city. This has been made possible by bullet trains, which greatly shortened the 120-kilometer journey to 35 minutes or less. I'm at Beijing South Railway Station, one of the busiest train stations in China. Ten years ago, the first ever intercity bullet train between Beijing and its neighboring city of Tianjin departed from this very station, starting a new era of high-speed rail. Carrying around 80,000 passengers each day, over 200 bullet trains between Beijing and Tianjin run as frequently as the bus you ride to get to work. Tong Zhuoya is a commuter traveling between Beijing and Tianjin, the only mid-stop of the Beijing-Tianjin high-speed rail link. Tong's two-city life started in 2014, when the Beijing-based Chen Tong Human Resources company she works for set up a branch in Wuqing. Today I'll be going on a trip with Miss Tong to Wuqing. We will travel on a Fuxing bullet train, a pioneering train model made with all Chinese technology. It can reach a top speed of 350 km per hour. The train is also an inexpensive means of transportation, with a single trip from Beijing to Wuqing costing less than $6. Ten in only 20 minutes, we arrived at Wuqing Station, which receives about an average of 8,000 passengers each day. Ten years ago, this number was only 300. Thanks to the bullet train, an Italian-style outlet village has decided to set up shop right here, across the road from the station, attracting thousands of visitors each day, mostly travelling by bullet train. China's high-speed rail has not only bolstered travel and tourism, but also boosted economic integration. In 2014, Chinese President Xi Jinping called for integrated and coordinated development of Beijing and its two neighboring areas of Tianjin and Hebei province, creating a cluster involving 130 million people. Since then, Wuqing has enjoyed new development momentum. It's not just a town where Beijing residents choose to lay their hat, it's also enjoying rapid development. This is Saying goodbye to Tang, I continue my journey to Tianjin, taking another Fuxing bullet train. In only 16 minutes, I arrive at Tianjin Station. Now I can enjoy my half-day visit to this open and vigorous port city, which is soaked in a rich local culture. Taking the Fuxing bullet train, eating the famous steam bun, enjoying the riverside view, and then heading back to Beijing on the same day. You could plan your trip just as Russian President Vladimir Putin did. China is aiming to become a transportation powerhouse. As of 2017, China's high-speed rail network reached 25,000 kilometers, accounting for two-thirds of the world in total. Now that Chinese bullet trains have been adopted abroad, they are enjoying mass popularity. It took China only 10 years to go from zero to having the world's largest rail network, and by the year 2020, China expects to have over 30,000 kilometers of railway spanning over 80% of China's cities, each with a population of over 1 million people. By then, the extra interconnectivity will not only boost the economy, but we'll start seeing more intercity stories like Beijing and Tianjin take place.